Hey guys, we got something really special in store for you today. So check out all these great cleaners. Well, we're gonna see how these fare up against intake valves on a direct injection engine. So are you guys ready to see just how well all these guys do mixed together? This is a highly requested video and I'm glad to put it together for you guys. So let's take a closer look at what we have to use. First off, we're gonna measure each additive then we're going to add them to this giant sprayer. So you guys ready to get started with this test? And not only are we going to use these cleaners to clean the intake valves, but we're also going to check the sound. So we're going to see if there's a difference in the sound after we clean out all this carbon buildup. And I'm going to show you guys just how bad these valves are in just one moment. As you can see, we have a thermostat. It's ran into the exhaust. So we're going to see how this affects the exhaust temperatures. So let's go ahead and move on to the next part of the test. Well, guys, here we are at valve number one. So the first observable valve. And as you can see, there's definitely a lot of carbon buildup. So this is definitely going to be hard to clean these valves up. Let's move on to the second observable valve. Here we are at the second observable valve and look at all the valve gunk. Yeah, well, direct injection, they definitely need some maintenance and this car definitely wasn't taken care of before I got it. So let's move on to the third observable valve. Oh wow guys, this is definitely bad. So let's go ahead, move on to the next valve. Well guys, here we are at the fourth observable valve. What do you think? Is there even a chance that these products are going to work even when we combine all the products? Well, I'm really excited to find out because I've been wanting to do this test for quite some time. Up first, we have Marvel Mist Reel. So let's go ahead and put in one ounce of Marvel Mist Reel. Let's go ahead and add our Marvel Mystery Oil. As you can see, we have it marked right here. So, add it to the sprayer. Now, let's go ahead and add the rest of the chemicals. Go ahead and bring your idle up to about uh, 2500 RPMs. Now let's go ahead and move on to the next part of the test. As you can see, it's electronic throttle, so I just place a post or a piece of pipe between the seat and the pedal. If you have 
a cable throttle you can easily tie something to the throttle from inside the engine be very safe once you have it raised to operating temperature go ahead and move your air intake box You want to make sure you spray past the mass airflow sensor. Make sure you spray in short bursts. One spray every couple seconds. Then towards the end, I speed up the spray. Typically, you want to insert the straw inside the intake boot, but I'm doing this where you guys can see the spray. And please be sure and steer clear of any moving parts. You definitely don't want to be reaching your hand in here around these belts like this because it could take your hand off. Well guys, are we getting any smoke? Not quite yet, but let's continue spraying.
So what do we have before? 351 degrees Fahrenheit. Alright guys, you saw it. 351 degrees Fahrenheit. But now it's at 354 after using the spray cleaner for a while. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the results. So as you guys can see, the sound meter, this is before using the cleaner. Now let's take a look at the after. Well, what do you think? Is there a big difference? Make sure you let me know in the comments below. Do you think there was a big difference in the sound? Well, we have a meter on it right here to show the proof. Let's go ahead with the rest of the test. I can't wait for you guys to see what's coming up. All right, as you can see, we're speeding it up. All right, after allowing it to heat soak for one hour, go ahead and start your engine up. So, once you finish spraying, make sure you raise the RPM up to about 3,500 RPMs two to three times. Then you'll cut your engine off after letting it idle for one moment. Then start it back up. I recommend taking it on the highway for about 10 minutes for a drive and come back and look at your results. Also, you can allow it to heat soak before you take it for your drive for about one to two hours. That helps out a lot also. Now, without further ado, let's go inside this engine with this borescope camera and take a look at these intake valves. I'm definitely excited to see just what happened. Make sure you guys stick around because I have something really cool in store for you toward the end. There's something you're definitely going to want to see. I can promise you that. Now here we are at the first observable valve and I can definitely tell a difference. So let's move on to the second observable valve. Here we are at the second observable valve. And I can see some carbon buildup that has been removed. So make sure you let me know what you guys think. Let's move on to the third observable valve. Here we are at the third observable valve. Well, there's definitely been some changes. Let's move on to the fourth valve. All right, guys, here we are at the fourth valve. There's definitely a difference. This valve is looking a lot better. So with a little bit more treatment, we could probably clean most of this up. All right, now for the special surprise. All right, guys, what do you think about this? Lucas heavy duty oil stabilizer. And we're gonna see what it takes to blow this engine up so yeah that's right we're gonna run some of this product through the system with only this product coating it after we've drained the oil we've ran this product then we'll drain this product back out and see just how long an engine can make it with Lucas alone so if you guys want to see that video make sure you click on this video right here and you're gonna see something really exciting us blowing an engine up or can Lucas actually protect it? How long? Well, find out on Nate's Interactive Auto. So guys, get ready to get wrenching for the next upcoming video when we blow this engine up. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching.